All right, welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. Today we rolled FTL. Um, Vinny's decided he doesn't want to uh, be a part of the FTL Let's Play or uh, Into the Breach just because they're a little longer and he likes to, you know, do other stuff besides sit down and play video games for a while. So um, understandable since he's not the one playing, but I figure we'll, we'll give another shot at the Taurus here, uh, NG Type A. And hopefully he goes a little better than last time. So if you didn't see last time, we only made it to about like sector five, I think. It was it was kind of a poor showing. Uh, which partially was my fault because I was desperately trying to make uh, a certain kind of build work and it, it just wasn't meant to be, I suppose. But yeah, we'll uh, start off here. Uh, if you didn't see last episode, the way this ship works is basically it has this Ion Blast 2 that takes down uh, enemy shields pretty much on its own as long as it hits consistently. And then um, our only real method of dealing damage is through this combat drone, which we can't aim. So that makes things a little difficult. Um, if we need it to hit certain things and it just decides not to, like right now with weapons, that would be pretty handy. But, you know, eventually it gets there anyways. Um, the other thing to kind of keep an eye on, <laughs> no pun intended, is um, drone parts, because every time we deploy a combat drone, we need to use a drone part to do so. Um, one of the ways that we found last time, I believe, was uh, an augment called the Drone Recovery Arm. Uh, super useful. Um, but obviously not if you have to spend your entire economy to afford it. Nice. See, that's kind of what we're looking for. Just immediately disable... Uh, all kinds of offense, and then we don't have to worry about anything. As always, my goal at the start of the game is to get level two of shields. Um, getting the system for that costs 50 scrap. Uh, we're not messing with giant alien spiders. I think that's three for three on uh, FTL episodes, having like the giant enemy spider. Anyways. This one we would like to finish up uh, rather quickly because we are next to a sun. Okay, now we're talking. Enemy has no dodge. Of course, we have taken out none of their offense, which is a little annoying. Okay, now we have no dodge. Okay, thank you. Okay, Solar Flare didn't hit anything important. We can just vent that out. They're not healing for a moment. Okay, and then we jump. Um... I'm going to try to circle around to this store um, just because we don't really have enough scrap for anything that would be like super worthwhile, um, at least compared to having a second level of shields. Uh, fun fact, ion weapons do double damage to Zoltan shields, which is kind of sick. You know, assuming they hit, which uh, would be a plus. There we go. Oh, well, that's annoying. Yeah, as long as we can keep their shields down, 
Um, having Ion offline is not necessarily a problem, but that is not a given. Actually, you go home, you go over here. Uh, generally, you don't want to move your engine guy because he provides a little bit of extra dodge chance while he is uh, active. But, um, yeah. Ooh, free crew member. That's nice. Um, we will put you on shields for now. I was going to say our weapons guy is going to be the one running around fixing everything. Um, but now we have two uh, more movable friendly units. Um, obviously, the NG is going to be faster at fixing things. That's like their whole thing. But um, uh, if there's a fire... Rockmen are immune to that. And if it happens to be closer, I'll probably send the Rockmen for it anyways. I'll buy a couple fuel. It is a good deal. Um, obviously, early game scrap is important, but um, that's fine. One damage to our hull is nothing, and we got rewarded enough to like actively get rid of it. Just gonna put you over here just in case the fire spreads. Cool. Uh, oh, right, I have to save your position so you know where to go. Yeah, if you're wondering how I keep sending people to like a particular room, uh, really quickly, you can save like a default position for them, and then if you just hit enter, they walk home. So that's really nice. Um, I'm very tempted to sell our combat drone and buy a beam drone instead. Um, combat drones are typically better, but because we have uh, Ion Blast 2, which can get rid of shields on its own. Um, beam is more uh, consistent damage for us because it can't miss. So I do think that is important. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to worry about selling that right now. Um, there's, there's no need at the moment. And it could come in handy. So yeah, I think we jump like kind of up and around like that. Sure. Okay. Ooh, quest marker down there. I guess we'll loop around the bottom way then. Uh, typically slavers will, um, surrender and offer up a crew member in exchange. So, uh, purchasing a crew member from them is rarely a good idea unless you really don't want to fight the ship. And granted, the ship is scary. <laughs> but assuming we can keep our Ion Blast online, um, it should go down somewhat quickly. Of course, it disables the one weapon that we didn't want it to. Yeah, okay, there's the free crew member. Um, debatable on whether or not all that damage was worth it, but having a bunch of crew uh, around is just generally pretty nice. Uh, I think I'll put you on sensors for now. Uh, one thing I really do like about this ship um, is the sensor and door rooms are right next to each other, so uh, if you have... Uh, one crewmate like this who can man either, uh, it's really easy to get them to just run over to doors before uh, like a surprise intruder event can really do any harm. So that's kind of nice. Hey, speaking of... So yeah, we'll move you down here. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep you over there. I don't really mind if they break sensors. Um, that's not a huge deal for me. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll try to do a little bit of oxygen damage to them before 
Uh, they can get in here. I'm just going to preemptively move you over. Yeah, okay. We, we got a little bit of damage on him. Oh, no. Wrong button. And while I wasn't looking, their ship is completely obliterated. You'll love to see it. And now we can turn on those NG med bots. Help us ensure that we win that fight no matter what. Completely risk-free. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I say now we buy that. And let's... Hmm. Let's do that first. Um, I'm always kind of on the fence about which one is better to go to, uh, go for first. Just because having extra power to um, make sure everything you have is powered is nice, but uh, right now we only need to depower medbay and then our whole ship is powered, so not as big of a deal. Um, I suppose I can leave that running for a little bit. I'm not too worried about their health just because we have ng med bots. Um, yeah, we we can generally like tear through uh, most ships with this beam drone before they can really do anything. So I am not too terribly worried about being able to kill these in time. Nice, good dodge. Yeah, the the one thing that drones are like really bad with is targeting anything of use. Uh, piloting is something, I guess, sure. Um, but just like our first couple attacks are on empty rooms that don't matter at all. And if you had an actual weapon, then uh, you would be able to target down systems that actually matter a lot faster. <laughs> but such is the struggle. Okay, so we've got Ion Blast. We have second layer shields online. We can depower one level of engines and power up the beam. Um, typically, in the first couple sectors, you're only going to find um, like ships that can get through one layer of shield and do damage or they have like a missile um it's kind of rare to see both at least on normal mode not completely impossible but case in point he can break one layer of shield but he can't do anything after that so um we can put those uh shield energy points into engine instead just to up our dodge chance for the uh, missile launcher they have. I don't know if we've actually seen these guys before. Um, these are the Lanius, uh, which are a species unique to the abandoned sector. Um, one of the rarest species in the game. Um, their whole gimmick is they do not need oxygen to survive, and in fact, they will actively remove oxygen from any room they are standing in. Um, really cool, um, but kind of hard to fit onto a non lanius crew, because <laughs> um, oftentimes they can be a little... Uh, they they can be a little bit of a hindrance if uh say like they die and someone else needs to get into a room or anything like that our hull is looking a little worse for wear at the moment so this will uh let you actually purchase a Lanius crew member for 40 scrap. 40 scrap is kind of a lot right now. So, um, yeah, instead we can use that scrap to say, uh, fix up our hull a little bit, which is very nice. Having another ion too is kind of tempting. 
obviously we would need to like upgrade the system power for it, but um, that would certainly enable our our general strategy. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. Um, let's get one more bar of power. I actually did not mean to collect that twice. Um, now we're at a good amount of power. Now we can probably start upgrading engines to uh, match our shield. You kind of want to level them in parallel um, unless you're really falling behind on upgrades, in which case I think shields are m more important. At least early shields. Um, cool. I was going to say, I don't mind fighting that just because it doesn't have any shields, so our beam drone would be able to just completely melt it. Um, I don't particularly want to go into an ion field. I guess we're hitting up a second sore. <laughs> it is what it is. Hmm. Okay, this is one of the few things that can really screw over this ship is an anti-drone drone. drone. <laughs> Um, because they really, really, uh, screw over, like, our only offensive option. I'm actually gonna run all... Never mind, you are staying right there. <laughs> um, yeah, this is why it's important to also upgrade engines. Just to raise your dodge chance a little bit. Let's wait, reactivate. Come on. Okay, we hit something. Yeah, if we can keep their drone system offline for long enough, then uh, that'll be great for us. And it looks like it's working. Nice. Um, I'll take that. Pretty much any time a surrender offers you a free weapon, uh, you take it. Because you can either use it, um, for example, we could have used it there to just completely destroy that uh, drone room for a little bit. Um, or you can sell it. And both of those are very valuable. Ooh, okay, this is a little, a little bit of a spicy ship. Having a burst laser two in sector two seems like kind of crazy to me. Okay. Really need to get those engines upgraded. I'm kind of holding off until we visit the store just in case it has something useful, but um, yeah, we'll we'll see. Okay, let's run over here. Okay, we take those. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, you can also uh, purchase Lanius crew members at uh, stores on occasion. Uh, which is cool, don't get me wrong. Um, but we don't necessarily need them. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just gonna sell that off. Um I think we need the ship upgrades more than anything else at the moment. And like, don't get me wrong, um, having that bomb as an option to get through, uh, for example, anti-drones would be great, but uh, being able to dodge more consistently would be more consistently helpful, I think. Because like the bomb is not going to be useful in uh, every situation.
Not a whole lot going on there. Not a whole lot going on there. Still doing good on fuel. That's nice. Um, We're ignoring that because we really do need drone parts. Uh, Mantis Homeworlds is actually pretty good for us. Um, the main thing the Mantises do for offense is like boarding. And because we have uh, NG medbots uh, and a Rockman, I feel pretty confident in our ability to ward off intruders. Okay. That's the thing with these uh, automated ships is they have ridiculously high dodge stats um, in exchange for usually having less uh, shielding than the average ship. In fact, you can get all the way to the last sector in the game and find these guys with ridiculously high everything, like crazy firepower and still no shields, which is, I don't know, funny. Kind of want to come back here, but I feel like that's a bit of a waste. So yeah, here's the uh, the teleporter strat that I was talking about. And let's depower one of those. Actually, we can temporarily depower oxygen. I'm fine with that. As long as I don't forget to turn it back on, it's not a problem. Because, yeah, with those NG medbots, uh, this Mantis does not stand a chance. Full fire in the shield room. Even two mantises, I don't think we'll be able to put that out very quickly. <laughs> okay, two mantises can, one mantis cannot. I misremembered. Cool. Turn oxygen back on. Then I'm just going to have you fix the med bay. I want your repair skill to be like as good as possible because you're going to be running around the most. And technically I could switch him off with the weapons guy and have you run around to repair the most. But I also need someone who's proficient enough in combat to not be a hindrance. Cool. Oh, we've got 49 scrap here. Bump one of those up. Okay, you've got some firepower. I'll give you that. And now we wait for Ion 2 to work its magic. This is around the point when uh, the starting weaponry becomes uh, not quite sufficient enough to deal with things quickly. Um, the main thing that's holding Ion 2 back right now is um, accuracy. Because ships at this point are getting uh, higher and higher uh, dodge chances. And so Ion 2 is missing more often. And if Ion 2 misses, that can really screw things up. Speaking of really screwing things up, wow, this this ship, huh? This is kind of dire. Can you knock it off? This is an incredibly annoying ship, actually. 
going to try to focus down their weapons while our drone comes back online. Oh, right. Come on, just two more lasers. There we go. Yeesh. So yeah, um, the main thing I'm looking for right now is some kind of uh, upgrade to our weapon systems that makes getting through shields easier. So that could be a hacking drone, um, but that makes fights a lot more costly for drone parts. So I, I don't love that approach. Um, we could do... Um, I, I think our ideal uh, pickup right now is like a flat cannon. Uh, those have a really good time getting through shields. They just are inconsistent on like actual damage. We don't necessarily need them for actual damage. We just need to get through shields because then the drones can do the rest. So that's that's where my head's at right now. Okay, nice. Uh, did they just upgrade our doors for free? That's cool. I think right now getting level three shields at least possible is really nice. Um, I know I just said we're looking for uh, weaponry right now, but like for stuff like this, I think it's going to be a lot more helpful to just do that. And then... Sorry, micromanaging. Um, <laughs> yeah, if we can block the majority of their shots, then we don't have to dodge as much. As long as one in that whole volley misses, then we're we're good. We're in good shape. Okay. They're retreating, kinda. Except none of their crew actually wants to pilot right now because everything is breaking and or on fire. Yeah, that, that was pretty smooth. Yeah, there just would have been a lot more uh, dodging RNG involved with um, with having engines over shields there, and so didn't want to have to worry about it. Okay, now we stock up as much scrap as we can. We visit this store. We hope they have uh, a weapon of some kind. Oh, this isn't too bad. Shield Overchargers, uh, an interesting drone you don't see very often. And here we can actually just leave that on. Yeah, right now we want more dodge chance because of the bombs they're going to be sending our way. Um, having medbay active uh, actually does help right now, just in case anyone gets damaged by a bomb, like uh, Garrick here, or Jarek, however you pronounce that. I love silly alien names. Uh, fun fact, all of the character names in this are, uh, I believe, named after Kickstarter backers. Um, it's random what names they're assigned, and there's just a big pool of names, so little fun fact for you. I didn't notice they disabled our weapons for a second. Yeah, okay. That's my bad. I didn't didn't notice the weapon disable. I don't think we would have been able to get through at that point anyways. Um. Sure. Okay. 
That one's always a little bit of a risk. I don't remember exactly what the downside is, but I figure if it's ship damage, we're visiting a store like right after this anyways. Uh, we'll put you on doors, I guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, that one event that I thought upgraded our doors for free did not upgrade our doors for free. There was just someone standing in the room. Okay. Um, none of this is like anything we need. Automated reloader is kind of nice for Ion 2, just to make it that much faster. But it's not necessary. I figure we just fix up our ship a little bit and then keep on moving. We're starting to run a little bit low on drone parts, but not low enough for me to want to go out of my way to buy any because they are a little expensive. Um, here I think uh, two shields and max dodge chance is better, just because even at three shields, like we would need two shots to miss from this in order to dodge everything. And I, I don't think that's happening, to be honest. Hopefully their engines are not very good, so we can uh, take this thing down sooner rather than later. Yeah. Um, Burst Laser 3 is a terrifying weapon to see. <laughs> Just because with how many shots it fires out, you need a certain amount of... Uh, dodge luck to like survive it okay we only got one hit there which isn't the end of the world i'm actually going to change ion blast to focus on weapons so we can hopefully take that out before it fires again never mind didn't have to worry about it you'll love to see it Asteroid field. Oh, this is going to be really interesting for you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we keep max dodge chance here. Hey, our uh, engine guy's max level. Huzzah. So, yeah, um, we don't even need to use a beam drone here. Actually, we can just have... Uh, max defenses and uh, hope we survive them because the asteroids will take him out and then we don't have to spend a drone part which is nice and now we wait which I know is very exciting but hey man it's optimal at least I'm not making uh, making everybody watch uh, sitting through like skill grinding because I don't know that always seems kind of lame to me. Basically, if you happen to find a ship that can't hurt you, then um, it is not only possible but optimal to uh, just sit there and let the ship fire at you and level up your uh, shield guys and your uh, pilot and engine guys. But I'm I'm just I'm I'm not that kind of player. One more. One more. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. I was getting a little worried we weren't going to get it. We actually got a pretty decent uh, reward from that, too. I would love to make improvements to the ship, but we cannot do that in a hazardous area. Okay. Free, uh, free Mantis Man. That's pretty awesome. 
Uh, we will actually put you on doors and then put you uh, just in the drone room. So we have someone there in case uh, the drone room like catches on fire or something. Um, we can try taking on this ship. I don't know how well it's going to go. We do have enough shields that we can full block them, which is really nice. All right, let's hope we can uh, do some damage before the anti-drone wakes up. Having piloting offline is going to be really nice. That means our shots are guaranteed to hit. Okay, nice. Yeah, I cannot stress how lucky we just got, but we got very lucky. That's that's basically what I'm I'm trying to say there. Um, I'm actually going to wait to spend any scrap until we see the next sector, just in case we end up in front of a ship or something. Uh, yeah, we'll fight you. Oh, wow, a lot of drones. Fancy. Yeah, I'm going to just keep max layer of shields here. <laughs> Got piloting offline right away. That's nice. Get rid of that obnoxiously high dodge chance that I'm sure this ship has. We took out one drone. That's good. Took out their beam weapon. That's good. Yeah, I think we got this one in the bag. Nice. That was clean. Nice. Okay. Living it up. Let's take a peek at the slug controlled nebula here. No stores in sight. I'm going to make one jump. And if none of these are stores, I am upgrading my ship. I'm really holding out for any kind of like usable weapon. Wow, this ship is mean. This ship is very mean. Can't have misses like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we we really need this to be taken care of sooner rather than later. Come on, Ion Blast. You know I love you, you stupid fucking idiot, but <laughs> come on. This is this is too dangerous. I can't stay here. OK, uh, once again, just kind of try to jump in the middle of everything and just. See, just to see. OK, awesome. Um, we might actually lose here straight up. All because I waited too long to just upgrade my defenses. I can't be missing like this. Come on. We need to hit multiple times in a row, preferably. This is why I wanted our weapons upgraded. Yep, and there it goes. Okay, so we, we just didn't get any usable weapons um, and kind of got screwed out of anything happening there. Um, was it risky of me to wait that long for um, any kind of uh, upgrade at all? 
yeah, I probably could have afforded like another bar of engines or something. But I mean, how was I supposed to know, right? Um, FTL giveth and FTL uh, frequently taketh away. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for watching today's roguelike roulette. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.